Hey, I'm Jazz. And I'm Britt. And YCWA, yo, let's talk about how to get away with murder. <laughs> okay, who are we going to talk about first? Let's talk about Crazy Chick and her case, right? Yeah. All right. Elena. What was her name? Elena, yes. And Christina Aguilera. Elena Aguilera. Get out of here. Okay, so the thing is, she's crazy, y'all. We're going to hit on that quickly. She's crazy. Um, went up in there. Dude, what's his name? Asha called her a hooker. Yeah, he's that's not a hooker. Prostitute. That's a mom. And Bonnie, she starts snapping because she snap on everybody all the time. Well, Bonnie no does this like, snap. She was like, if you want to be uh, Miss Pro Professor Keaton, then maybe you should shut up and follow her lead. Be quiet and learn something. <laughs> Bonnie be like, Asha was like, that's okay. all Bonnie does to everybody. But then she come walking out and she's like, oh, thank you so much, Annalise. Oh my God, I'm so glad this person gave me your number, blah, 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 blah. They walk outside and what happens? The feds come snatch the up. <laughs> it's like, why are the feds snatching you up, mom? You suburban mom. Mm, yeah. What's going on? Come to find out, Elena she's been bombing. She's been bombing. She's been dropping bombs she's on She's a terrorist. Her. Okay, but her little homie who did jail time and didn't make and made sure she didn't do jail time, Gabrielle. Um, oh, Gabriel? 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 That's how I was <laughs> Gabrielle will Stop be the uh, female version, right? All right, my bad. <laughs> but let's talk about Gabriel, though, because um, I don't know if y'all remember him, this actor. He is such a cutie. I don't know his real name. But I remember this movie that he was in. Um... I'm trying to remember, was it a Lifetime movie or whatever? He was in a couple of Lifetime movies, but he played this guy named Cross. It was a mob movie that he was in. He was so hot when he was younger. He's still hot, though, but oh, he was just everything. As, as <laughs> I like him. When I saw him, I was like, ooh, he aged well. He's so cute. But anyway, I saw how he, they went to see him. And he was like... No, 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 no. First of all, when Annalise told uh, uh, Elena and her husband that that's what she wanted to happen, her husband was like... Yeah. Her husband pulled a Kermit and was like... <laughs> <laughs> he said, no tea, no shade, but... <laughs> <laughs> he was like, nah, I think you, this dude trying to take my chick. And then, but Elena talking about, I don't think I feel comfortable. Annalise was like, don't nobody care about how comfortable Yeah, the whole time, no, her husband was like... She said, I don't care if you come for your Because he's like, yo, am I about to lose, lose my, my wife? wife? Probably. Because check out how they get there. As soon as he came out, did y'all see her do that little shimmy in her seat? You know what happened, right? She got hot in the draw. Hot and bothered when she saw hot that in the cutie. Because, ooh, I like her. But so I know she was like, she said hi. But also, what Britt pointed out to me. Yeah. He, um, when he sat down, he said, uh, you know, hey, Elena. He said, he said. Elena um, in the flesh. Yeah, he said, Elena in the flesh. Meaning to me, I would say like, oh, so y'all been talking on the phone? Because he was saying in he the really flesh. Stretched. He pointed out specifically. You gotta peep these things out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, what was crazy was how he went up and quit. First, he get in there. He talking about some yes, anything. I'll testify, blah, blah blah. But I knew it. I said, yo, he about to flip on her. So when he flipped in court, and I think I tweeted that. So when he flipped in court on her, that wasn't a surprise to me. What was a beautiful surprise was when they was on that bus together. Heading out of town. Look at that. But why she doesn't have to do that to Annalise like that? And this is her reputation. You know what I'm saying? But listen, she said... They we, put in work. She said... She, he said he cladding and she said she bonding. Yeah. They had to do it. But she she loved that me. You heard what she said in the backseat of that car? She said, I'm never not missing him. Never not. When I'm with Damn. my kids, when I'm having sex with my husband, when I'm chilling, when I'm baking cookies. But you saw Annalise started getting that tear in her eye because yeah. she's like, this is how I feel about Nate, man. <laughs> Nate dogs. <laughs> Nate doggity dog. Yo, Michaela was like. She said, Nate the Great. Michaela was so uncomfortable, though. She was like. Because we all know what Michaela. First of all, Bonnie was like. Oh, yeah, Bonnie's so Bonnie's sour. not here for anyone. At all, or anything. Bonnie don't like nobody. But Michaela was looking like... But we all know what Michaela was thinking. Is that how Aiden feels? Mm. Is he sitting there thinking about Connor? Let's talk about Connor. In the Connor snap. is such a... He... What is, is the word? He just snapped. So uh. officially on that girl. But let me tell you something. Connor is... Oh my God. He's those girls that just get punched in their face randomly. He's the no beautiful reason. jerk. I want to call him the beautiful jerk. You want to know why? Because... He's more than a jerk. He's a dick. <laughs> I've been called oh. that. I mean, but he's honest. At least he's honest. He's an honest dick. 
He's a dick with a condom. <laughs> point, right? Is that what it is? Nothing Get wrong with it. Here. Because what was funny on Twitter, this is what cracked me up. First of all, let's talk about how Connor, when he saw her fiance, and he was like, oh my God. Aiden, they was like, Broski. They oh. pounding. You owe me. Oh. Uh -huh. But you still owe me that twenty dollars, man. It was all of that. Then they all at the bar, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, "Yeah, you know that." And I ate until my. And he said, "Oh, you didn't tell her." But first of all, before that, hold on. But when she came in, she was like, "Don't rewind that." When they did see each other, and he said, "So he leaned into Michaela and said, looks like we got more in common than I thought." I would have ripped his tricky. We would have dealt with that right then and there. Crouching tiger, hitting what? Because when he would have said that, I'd have been like, what the f*** are you talking about, Connor? Because that's exactly what it came out of my mouth. F-bombs dropping. Connor is, what is the word? Oh, my God. Connor is just that person that everybody hates. Connor is because the Connor baddest don't, bitch. Yeah, Connor don't know who. I don't even like the using that guy, word. Okay, but <laughs> Connor walks to this song. Y'all know I'm the baddest bitch. <laughs> Who's bad? Who? Who, who's bad? Right? <laughs> Just call me the bad bitch. <laughs> That's kind of song, kid. He wakes up to that, man. He, cause you can tell by he the way. He woke up where he goes. No, you ain't seen Nero. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 no Nero. Uh uh. See, that his it, he moonlights as Trina on the low. All right, Connor is crazy, kid. I mean, because when he, you can tell by even the way he, the facial expressions he makes whenever someone else shines, he'd be like. He hate, he's a hater. <laughs> he don't I, care. I mean, but when that man hit that at that bar, when he was would, like, oh, you like didn't I tell her? I would have his tongue out from underneath his jaw. When he said you didn't tell her, I was like, oh, but I mean, Aiden kind of, <laughs> yes, he would hit that Kermit. But, but the thing that cracked me up, what went down on Twitter was everybody was like, oh, he's a douche. Oh, he's dirty. Oh, he's a jerk. Oh, he's foul. No, I mean, because Connie don't be, have no loyalty to him. I mean, they not, smashed not when they were Not trying to be funny. The Connie way he went about any... it, the way he went about it was jerk-like. Yeah, because however, the way, jerk -like however, because he didn't think about Michaela's feelings. He however, like I'm Michaela. not mad at Connor. Why are we not mad at Aiden and his down low ass? You know, it's about, Girl, you know I'm not bye. a liar. You know me. I don't lie. No, you do lie by omission. And let me explain something to you, okay? When that chick says, so are you, he said, I'm not gay. The F are you talking about? You willingly slept with a man or, you know, anyone, anyone who sleeps with someone that is the, same, the same sex. sex. Yeah. My, my, my man, my girl, you're, you're gay. You, you live in that life. What are you talking about? You did this willingly. This wasn't no, I was raped. This wasn't a situation where someone took advantage of you. You was like, I want to be, I want to take that. D and you want that. Well, we don't know which one he did, but whatever. Man, Connor was on top of that. You know Connor was on yeah. top of that. You see how he's snatching? He, he's snatching. Snatching hair. <laughs> I told you what he wake up to. Y'all know I'm the baddest bitch. Not Connor, man. But the mm -hmm. fact that this dude didn't tell her, and this is a message for you females out there, because a lot of females be up here. Like, just letting that slide. Like, that's something that like you're supposed pass. to let somebody know. Yeah. That's one. If you choose to still be with that man, that's your business. Because and if, and if come to find out he's sleeping with some other man, then you can't be upset with him to the point where it's like, oh, my God, how could you be gay? No, he already told you what he did in the past. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why there are certain questions you're supposed to ask when you're dealing with someone. Uh, hey, matter of fact, we need to do a video on that. Because I... Every... Guy, boyfriend, I had, I asked those questions. My husband was asked the same questions. Have you ever engaged in any homosexual activity? Have you ever thought about engaging in any homosexual activity? Would you like to engage in some homosexual activity? If the chance uh, presented itself to you, would you engage in any homosexual activity? That was one of the group of questions. There's other questions in regards to pedophilia, rape, you know, adultery that I asked. But when it comes to homosexuality... I asked those questions. Why? Because if later on... It's over, you didn't ask. I find out you done dipped with some man, I can respond accordingly because mofo, you told me no. And I done covered every ground. So that means when I go hard on you, when I turn the F up, it's going to be to the max. 
Like it's going to be the max. It's going to be so all the way max and ain't nobody going to stop this cuz I got some real for you in this head. If I find yeah. out, you understand what I'm saying? Cuz to each his own, you can like what you want but be honest. Honesty is so important when it comes to sexuality specifically. Yes. Don't play no games. And a lot of people in the homosexual community they be on, I, I don't understand this cuz to me that's like equivalent to I don't want to say it's equal to rape. It's not equal to rape but it's something like it. When you just be lying. You misled me. You're lying. Misleading people. If it's wrong to drug somebody and, 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 and exactly. take advantage of them sexually, it's wrong to lie and take advantage of me sexually. Same goes for men and women who be lying yeah, about being like married. They, yeah, just like When they lie about yes. being married and you got this person catching feelings and they come to find out they find out you married. That's that's horrible. That's wrong. You're misleading people. And it ain't right. So cut that shit out. And if you wanted them download mother effers, you better cut just that shit stop. out. Just cut that shit out. Don't nobody got time. You if you weren't happy with who you are, that's your goddamn business. You be depressed up in your house. Do what you got to do for you. But don't be up here hurting somebody else's life, ruining somebody else's life. Now, this woman got to walk around here feeling stupid. Yeah, time wasted. Because she ain't, oh, dang, I can't, I, my, gay, I, my gay radar is all effed up. Mm -hmm. Dude, when I tell you, yo, I will bust a dude's ass for that. And y'all can, and then the funny thing is, and then when I bust his ass, they're going to say it was a hate crime. <laughs> get out my face. because yes, I hate this get, nigga. Yeah, I hate this nigga for lying to me. And because you know, yeah, people always say about black people always making things about black. No, because gay people be making everything about being gay. No, it's not. You ain't getting your ass whooped because you gay. You get your ass whooped because you, you a, a liar. damn liar. <laughs> and I'm going to whoop that ass. You ain't Paul. You a nigga that still. Girl, <laughs> bye. I'm sorry. And I was looking at the TV like, Shonda, that thing made me mad as hell. But at first, I was like, Shonda tripping with this bullish. But the reality is, there are females out there that will set, settle and be up in some marriage, yeah, some relationship. Oh, with some man who they know damn well. She's in law school. She's like, yeah, I spent three refund checks on this wedding dress. Get out my <laughs> face. Get out my face. And Annalise, with her, with her wise ass, yeah. was like, be careful. Oh, Annalise Solomon. Be careful of the man you choose to marry. That choice. And you women out there. But I'm there. like, she didn't realize. She didn't know he was gay a little bit, though. Because why is he talking to her like that? I mean, I know that some dudes talk like that, but... What you mean? With, with just the way he sounds. He... <laughs> and you know she wasn't loving it because you saw that sex scene. But Kayla, I want her to work on that, uh, that, uh... The, the, her the sensuality? Mm-hmm. Because she was like... Because she pulled, uh, no, she pulled the exorcis uh, uh, exorcism. Like, she put her head all the way around. I'm like, what? I've never seen that before. This girl doing, uh, uh, um... <laughs> Warm up, suck him out. She's stretching. I mean, it was a little like, because uh, I mean, Connor's sex scenes are hotter than that. What's going on? <laughs> the gay man up, the gay man up, staging your ass. Get it together, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I think they have a group on though. Sex tips for women from a gay man. It's definitely a group on that in New York. <laughs> it's like a show. <laughs> man, just 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 hit us up in the email. We'll give you some tips. <laughs> Tips? Any tips you got? <laughs> Drop it back there. Y'all see that movie? But no, nah, but I, I was, I don't know. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about that whole situation with Michaela and Aiden and Connor. Because, I, I mean, in my opinion, I feel that Connor, you know, got the got, got played on Twitter. But I did not see him as the bad guy. Aiden is the bad guy as far as I'm concerned. Aiden is the bad guy. Connor is just an asshole because he could have. The way he went about it. But any man or woman. Because he knows that he's crushing her world Any right man now. or woman that will lie about their sexuality. Or any activities that they have previously engaged in, in regards to sexual, you know, sexuality, that's dead wrong, and you out of pocket, and there's no, there's nothing okay about it, and I don't give a damn who don't like that itch. You don't like what I'm saying? Please pause. I mean, that's just like if somebody was a prostitute before they got with you, and it's like that's something you're supposed you know what to know. Like, now you mad at them? It's like you're oh, not telling me that you was a prostitute. In the I didn't streets? think it was a big deal. That was in my past. Like, and then we're not so saying that being it? gay is equivalent to that. That's not what we're, not, we're saying. Anything in regard to your sexuality, that stuff should be shared with someone you with, especially yep. someone you talking about marrying. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Adams would have died. I believe it. That day. It wouldn't have been no late. Mm -hmm. Girl! No way. Oh, no way, Jose. I can't. God knows. He knows, though. He know. 
He even he know who to make sure they don't deal with nothing like that because he already know I'm gonna be on the run. <laughs> I will be on Jay-Z. the run tour. And Beyonce. Okay, Britney will be with me though because she ain't gonna let me have to be on the run by myself because I would be like, yo, straight up, I had to. Oh my kill god, y'all just had ten Altoids and it's so my mouth is so hot right now. But why she eating? <laughs> it's I'm outdoors. hungry. <laughs> But do, no, but do you remember when Connor when because you see how Michaela and what uh what's his name Aiden, Aiden. went through that? Yeah, she's trying she to do to her court, work and he when called she went her to court like, the next day though, and Connor was like, I mean, don't trip. I don't even remember what his penis looks like. And he he said, was like, Wait a my minute. bad. Yes, I do. Connor and, is a mean girl. Yeah, because remember when he said before, I don't kiss and tell. I think that was like the first episode. Yeah. Well, it appears Connor kisses and tells. Tells. Yes, if you uh, follow us on Instagram, you saw that post we put on Twitter. That Dre was crazy. Let me tell you something. Mm. Connor. Mm. Mm. Connor. Connor said, "Use a stupid hat. Use a use a stupid hat." She That's is. That's what he said to Michaela. And Annalise basically told her the same thing. Now, what's really telling though is how Annalise knows everything. You notice that? No one. He was gay from when she met him at the door. Mm. And she yeah. know Connor a thought. And at least get gay. Like, yeah, Connor's a little thotty, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, okay, so now let's move on to uh, Annalise and, uh, what's his name? Nate? Yes, Nate the Great. Why Nate lie to Annalise? Because he, Nate, first of all, Nate is so stressed about this. Mm-hmm. He's so stressed. When he, when he found was talking out that, to the, uh, the parking lot dude. When he found out that her husband was not even there. Mm-hmm. But you see them eyes Annalise be cutting at her husband? Let's talk yeah. about Annalise laying in that bed with that bonnet on she that head wrap on. <laughs> Yo, her face! <laughs> laying next to that man. Annalise. But the thing is, I was like, you know... It, it, I mean, it, the funny thing is, I feel like they're trying to lead us up to, you know, when they do find out that Professor Keaton is missing. You know, her husband and all this. And it's like, you know, gonna kind of give us the conflict of, okay, maybe she did it. Because of the way the, the eyes she be shooting at him is like, yo, if I had a knife, <laughs> if I only had a knife, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. Because she's like, not stupid. Nah, but, and you know, so. it, it, it's like, her problem is she knows that he was doing he was something with you. Smashing the girl. So it's like he's automatically a suspect. Yeah. Because of that, you know what I'm saying? And it's so funny because it's her own theories in regards to that, is what's going to make her a suspect in regards to her husband. Why'd you keep hitting this dag on couch? I don't know. When, uh, <laughs> when, yeah, when he, when, the, when it's found out that he's missing, it's her own theories that's going to yeah make her a suspect, which is going to be really interesting when all of that comes out. But, um, you see how the school approached her to defend Griffin, Griffin. The, the, the frat boy who was dating the chick who was killed. Um, first of all, when he came there and started telling his little story, mm-hmm. he just sounded like a liar. He was breathing too much. <laughs> All this inhale and exhale. You know, and I just feel... Some girls, a couple girls asked for coke. Yeah. And Rebecca. Rebecca was like... Like, he was clearly lying. And you could tell Annalise knew. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But because of that... And it's like, you know... But what was crazy was when... But Anna, you didn't see what Wes was like... He was like, this is some real drop. <laughs> but what was crazy was when um, Annalise and her husband had dinner with those people... And the yeah. husband dropped the bomb that Yale didn't pick him. Even though Yale did. No, what you talking about? He said, no, remember when Nate went and spoke to the lady? What? And she was like that he didn't come? Yeah. She also said, which was a blow, because whoever so-and-so is um uh, trying to um woo him with this position. Oh. Really? Yes. That's why I was like, he just didn't want to go um go over there to Yale because he's gonna have to go through a whole new bu- a new batch of of hoes and and get uh, comfortable with a whole new group of hoes. He's like, I want to stay here and f my regular hoes. Is that what it is, Mister Keaton? Just wants to f his regular hoes in Philly. He don't want to have to put time and work into you know giving people special treatment and all of this. <laughs> These Yale hoes wooing the new hoes. He, he don't want to woo the new hoes. He's already got his old ones. I mean, so the thing is, but what was really um telling was when um. They was like, oh, so, you know, you're going to take the case. And he was like, yeah, she's got to think real long and hard about taking the case. And she was like, what? So you don't think I should take the case to defend yeah, the guy? Yeah, he, he, said, he said it's going to be uh, difficult. And he was like, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give he, her he any said, professional advice. He said after like, yeah, 20 years, I know not to give her mm. any professional advice. But it is telling. You see how But you saw her friend or his friend, you know, the little woman, she looked at him like, mm. 
Yeah. Because Annalise was like. Annalise gave him that. She said, so what, she you said, don't want me to take the cake? <laughs> when Viola hit that, and then this. Viola is a bad lady. She ain't no joke. Annalise don't be playing, though. She don't. Annalise is, um. Annalise is on one. Yeah. That, that's a perfect way. Yeah, because you see how I'm trying to... She's trying to find the words. I don't know. She's did you see one. her face when... um? First of all, let's talk about when she disrespected Frank. When he was like, you know, I was thinking of write up of this and of that, and then we could get blah, blah, blah. She was like, leave the lawyer in to the lawyers. Yo, Michaela and Laurel was like... Oh. They said, so what is his job? Yeah, because the they muscle? said he's not a lawyer. Yeah, he's the, run he's the runner. Basically, he's like the runner or whatever the case may be. But she was pissed when Miss uh took going back to their case. What was that chick's name? Elena, Elena. I think it was. Yeah. When Elena she dipped, and, and basically Michaela was getting the the info. Yeah, exactly. She's you putting know? in all of this work. She put in all this work. All of them been putting in work. And Michaela's coming to her like, yo, he's been on the phone with her mother, and she's trying to tell her. She was like, hold up. And that's when she found out the chick dipped. And I was like, dang, man, you know, that the whole law firm wants to jump that chick, like, real yeah. talk. I'm thinking that and they... And you saw the judge's face when um she was like, Do you, have you located your mm -hmm. uh, your client? She was like, her whereabouts are not uh, unknown. She didn't look, Annalise was the judge tight. was like, mm. Annalise was tight. But I'm thinking that um this case will probably be revisited, probably. if not next season. Because there's a warrant out for her arrest. Yeah, that case is going to be revisited Under again. her alias name. So. And Annalise is definitely going to defend her, probably. But she's going to be like, I think the whole firm, all of them, is gonna they're going to jump her. She got to get jumped before they defend her again. Get out. Because <laughs> they put in mad work. They did. And she was like, That's so embarrassing. I'm out of here. That's like, embarrassing, man. That was ridiculous. But let's talk about Wes. All over the place, Wes. First, he finds the phone, right? Yeah. He got the phone. The phone ringing. Uh, yeah. And the so phone Frank was like, ringing. Yo, can somebody pick up that phone? They're like, Wes, it's yours. He's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it occurred to me that okay, I'm sorry. Does Wes not have a phone of his own? Because he seemed phone. real, like you know, like oh, wait a it minute. He was oblivious to that ring, like what? But he I guess looks like. But I guess it's clear now that Wes doesn't have money like the rest of it's them. It's very clear. I mean, what you see where about? he's living. I mean, I just was like, you well, see, maybe he always he wants... got on the same daggone flannel shirt. <laughs> when he told, uh, what's her name? And at least he was like, you know, Rebecca doesn't have anything because she's poor. He felt she, very strongly about that. But she is his next door neighbor. Yeah. So. He said, but that, shouldn't we defend her? She needs our help. You know, well, I thought, and that you could tell Annalise respects his uh, passion. Yeah. Like, she likes that about him. The, she likes the way he thinks, but I think she also likes the, the passion that he has and, and his the greenness that he has. Mm -hmm. He's very green. But I think she really likes that about him, that he's still fresh. He's still untainted. We do know that at the end of this, uh, you know, this season, like around Christmas, for the winter break, I guess, he will become tainted, as we see when they yeah. do the, you know, present um, shots of them basically trying to bonfire Mr. Keaton. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, um, you know, he he's, I think that's what Annalise likes about him. She also wants to F. You know, she's definitely down to Y'all realize that Annalise is like a horn dog? She is definitely D to F. I mean, but he's cute. No, he is a cutie. No, he is. But I mean, I wouldn't be all over him like that because I'm not about I throwing myself. You, know? you gotta chase me. You gotta chase me. Yeah, she is definitely. Because she'd be like, Nate the Great, come on. And she was like, I miss you. Little did she know he was a lion. Yeah. A lion he's to a... his teeth. He's talking about, yo, no, he's got an alibi. So now the question is, is he doing this because he wants to dig deeper and really find out what's up? Or is he doing this because he's like, gotcha. Mm, I think back he's doing at this you. because he's like, Yo. Hey, but he's at the big peg back. Hey. Mm, mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You think so? It could be. Um, it's possible. I mean, because she definitely uh, served on him one in that courtroom. Yeah. And you're going to use the my, my wife, yes. who, is, who has cancer? Yeah, it's not right. To... To force me to bend over. She was like, bend, bend over, over, bend over, bend over. over. Bend over. <laughs> she, she basically <laughs> made him bend over and do her bidding. Like, that was, like, really, like, but wow. she didn't give him no heads up. That's no heads up. But I guess she, because <clears throat> if she gave him heads up, he would be able to be like, nah. He would yeah, figure out true. how to get back at her. You feel me? 
But that was ridiculous. But Wes is really just all over the place. You know, we love us some Wes. He's such a cutie. Him and Connor, they're our, our face. Yes. But Wes, man, making fake IDs and all. I guess, I mean, because remember, we was kind of like questioning, like, why is he, why does he care? But I guess it's because he knows she doesn't have money. Yeah. And he's like, that's just not fair. Griffin's yeah. going to get away. But with... he kind of low-key likes her. We saw that well, early yeah. on. But there's no connection between them for him to be doing all of this. Like, it's like, what are you doing? You, now you make it fake. But that's when his uh, slope of t doing foolishness started. When he made that fake ID. Yeah. That's when we knew, okay, he's about... Because once, once you do wrong for a woman... Yeah. Even a little bit? It. Yeah, you're just going to keep... You're just... going to keep doing wrong. He ain't even got the vagina yet, and he's already making fake IDs. The F? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that boy, uh, Wes is lame. <laughs> Ooh, Wes out there. But then when she was like, when she stepped, when Rebecca stepped in and said, What the is hell this? is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> she said, <laughs> <laughs> And then he was she, like, and he's talking to her, but what was crazy I'm was- with the public defender's office. Let me get one. What was crazy was how she, um, she curved the hell out of him. And then when he was like, guards? Griffin about to pin it on you. And she was like, what? Because obviously, her and Griffin talked and they probably had this agreement that they was just, don't go choking on no outside mm -hmm. now. It was a hiccup, kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he um, they must have had some agreement and Griffin straight flip-flopped on her. And she wouldn't have known if Wes didn't no. come and tell her. And that's the truth. Bottom line. That joint was crazy. Mm. What y'all think about Frank <laughs> liking the Laurel? But what do y'all think about Frank um being upset? All in his feelings. And and showing it because Asher caught it. It's the douchebag. His name is Asher, right? The rich boy? I believe so. I believe his name is Asher. But Frank, he saw he saw Laurel laughing with the dude and he was like the little, you know, Habib dude. And he he, was he, tight. he, he, he drink his drinking. But it, it appears he might like her a little more than he must have liked the others because child almost Spit out the Altoid and choked on it. Like, Brittany, I don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> but, um, it appears... I mean, I don't know how he acted with the other chicks they say he banged, but he seems to be very much, um, liking... I mean, he hasn't banged Laurel yet. Well, we haven't seen... You know, I, I don't think they have. No, they haven't. But remember, they said, like, don't F the students, Frank. Mm. That's what I'm saying. We don't know... We don't know how he was with the other students, but... Yeah. I mean, this seems like he, like, likes her. This isn't, like... This doesn't seem like just a... I want to F. Yeah. It seems a little bit more, you know, yeah. involved or whatever the case may be. You know, and speaking of, Bonnie doesn't like anyone, but she really doesn't like Laurel. Yeah. She's always snapping hard. No, excuse me, the hardest on Laurel. She's clapping on She her. snaps on everyone, but she snaps, like, real hard on Laurel. Like, on and Laurel some, just be like... Like, what the F is going on? What I do want to, speaking of Laurel, what I want to point out is when they go back, when, they, when they're in the present where they're at the bonfire... Do we know that, you know, as far as Mr. Keaton, <clears throat> do y'all notice that Laurel is in line with Wes? Yep. That's how you know she's bonkers. She's not even... She's like, yeah, nope. Our, our, our alibi is the bonfire. Laurel ain't skipping the beat. Like, she's... She's chill. She's chill. She's on it. Wes is turned up like, yo, we gonna do this-ish. And he's looking very sexy yes, in that Yes, when scenes. he was yelling, I said, oh. I was like, yeah, you know, I like crazy. If y'all seen, if y'all seen any of our overviews, y'all know Jazz likes crazy. You know, low key crazy. But um, Connor and Michaela are the yeah, ones flipping like, out. The but y'all do, do see though that Connor, even though he slept with Michaela's man uh, years ago and threw it in her face, made her swallow it, choke on it, and then vomit mm -hmm. it up again, and then want to kill herself, um, but yeah. chose not to. Yeah, she chose to live. He's still he's he's worrying that he's caring for her. He's kind of like you yeah. know. Coddling her, and you he know, came they, into the thing. And you know, he's arch nemesis. Yeah, she's like his arch nemesis. Like they're always looking at each other. Like mm. Mm -hmm. it's always she's a competition like, between hmm. them. But yet, during that Guess situation, they're, they're besties though on the low. They're yeah. frenemies yeah. because he's like, "Come on, Michaela, we gotta go." Like, mm -hmm. ah, take this picture. Or we're gonna go to jail. Mm -hmm. He's he's a smile for the camera. They was like, but she was like. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yeah, and he definitely grabbed her up just like that. <laughs> he was ridiculous. But it's like um Laurel and Wes, 
They was like, no flex. That's what she zone. said. And we said, uh, you know, beware the quiet ones. Yeah, they chill. It's nothing. It's a no chill zone. It's a no flex zone. Yeah. They chill them. So, uh, and speaking, because the Ivy League ones are all jacked up. And remember when Laura kind of snapped at Michaela about like, so you think that you're better than everybody because you would, anyone who didn't go to an Ivy League school? Yeah, she was like, please. She said, I can kill about 10 people and got away with it. Like, <laughs> it's nothing. You stupid. But that boy Asher was like, it is true. <laughs> But you see, them Ivy Leaguers are having issues. Asher is not really. What? What has been Asher been doing? He's been doing things. He's been um making his uh shines, doing a little shine. But his shines don't stand out like the other ones when yeah. they when it's like a boom. But but Annalise gives him props for. No no no, I'm things. talking about with the whole Mr. Keaton thing. No 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 no, he's not involved. Yeah, okay. he's not involved in like, that, where is, which where is, is he? interesting. Which is interesting. But um, we shall see, right? But they couldn't involve him in anything, please. Because he's ignorant. But also, whoever his daddy is, he probably, he would have just had his father deal with it. Mm-hmm. So. And then involving everybody else. But, um, so status report for this episode? Turn up. Get to turn up. How to Get Away with Murder has been pretty, um, on point. Um... Yeah, so they get a status report and turn up. Who's your turn up worthy character? Well... Mm. And we're 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 about to give uh we we're having extra categories for status report this time. Who is my turn up worthy character? Turn up worthy characters are. I don't know. Can you tell you go first? Let's check. Um hmm. She doesn't know either. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, for me, my turn of ca- for the character was Gabriel. I was gonna say him. Paula or Elena. Gabriel. She snapped though because she left her two kids with her husband, who She's was already crazy. scared that she was about to. And my her. other turn of worthy character is Connor for being honest. <laughs> Be ye honest out there, whether you're homosexual, heterosexual, whatever you're into, married, single. Because even your single folks need to be honest. Because if you're into uh, S&M or something like that, you got to tell people that from the get-go. Yeah. You can't be bringing also, that. Also, like, don't, you like. You can't be telling them that a month in. Yeah, yeah. Because they're going to be like, Mom, what? And now you don't force this person to have to try something that they wasn't even interested in. <laughs> yeah, that's those what... people who, you know, those people who be like, you know, they be weird. They wear they, they, they thoughtness on their sleeve. And it's like, wait a minute, you a virgin? Man. Yeah, you got to be ye honest. <laughs> Okay, so like my um, turn up worthy characters, Connor and Gabriel, because Gabriel's a cutie, and I was just so excited to see that actor. I still don't know who mine is, so I'm just gonna oh. have to say Wes because it's Wes, and he is a cutie. Connor and Wes yeah. is gonna always make the rounds, I think. And our new status is gonna be the Creep Ambassador Award. The Creep Ambassador was Award Aiden. goes to Aiden with his lion down low ass. I don't, care. I, don't lie. I don't care if you was down low when you was 16. You down low because you didn't tell the truth and you wasn't honest. We about to get married. Like, I'm Get sorry. out my face. Or as they were saying in the South, boy, bye. For real. Um, and um, our next category, which is <laughs> the badass mofo. The badass. Badass character. Mother, mother bad. Shut yo. Okay. I'm the son of a bad. Shut the your mouth. baddest mofo, baddest character for this episode. It's two of them. Who you giving it to? You know. Who? Connor and uh, Elena slash Paul. Well, not Elena. Oh, you giving it to Elena? Yeah, you she know what? Did, yo, like she that's did. Crazy. Like it was not. And she said, "I got two kids. I got a husband, but I don't give a f. I love Gabriel. I miss him. I'm always thinking about him." I need to be with him. It's really crazy. That's though. what she said. That's so crazy. Like, oh my god. Hey, you say Connor because you know, like we said, he wakes up in the morning saying, "Y'all know yeah. I'm the baddest bitch." <laughs> Who's <laughs> bad? <laughs> but you know who my badass mofo was? Who? I gave it to Laurel. Oh yeah. Her calm in the storm. She is calm in the storm. Y'all need to watch Laurel. I told you she killed ten people already. She's <laughs> she's the real Buffalo Bill. Or is Stop. it Buffalo Bob? Which Buffalo one Bob from Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> be killing people on the right, silence yeah. of the lambs. You're so crazy. Y'all give us y'all status report. Tell us if you thought it was turn up worthy. Let us know who your turn up worthy character was. Wait a minute. Who's turned down? Turn down was who for you? Mm-hmm. Damn it. It's Aiden. 
Aiden. No, no, no. For me, Frank. no, it's not Aiden. For me, it was uh, what's him call it? Nate, because he lied to Annalise. But it's got to be a reason, because it's not because it's not because he he hates her. Because yeah. you saw how he looked like he's up to vomit. No, but it just it just made me turn down though. I was just like. Name, so. what you doing? Who, who was your turn down character? I'm, I said Frank. I didn't mean Frank. I meant Mr. Keaton because it's like, stop lying all the time, man. And yeah, Mr. Keaton is a liar. He's clearly a liar. Because when a wife, like, because you, Emily say just some jealous, you know what I mean? When a wife knows, a, a wife knows when a husband is lying. And she keep giving him that. And she's a defense attorney. Come on. Then it's that. The nerve of him to lie to her. It's an insult. <sighs> How dare he? It's like, you know that I know that you lying, so let's just be honest. Be ye honest. Didn't I already say this? <laughs> Damn it. All right. So who is y'all? Y'all give us a status report. Tell us y'all turn down. Turn up worthy character. Your turn down worthy character. If there's a creep of bastard award that you think is someone who should be nominated for it for the F, put it up. Let us know. And also let us know who y'all thought was the badass character of the yeah. damn... Uh, at, Cause I, I I'm Laurel, I, you know I think people sleeping on her, but she was calm in the storm. I like that about her, and she's just like, yo, we gonna do this, not we going cause it appears she's like, that no, yes, that's what we it mean. looks like. Wes is just making all the decisions, but Laurel is also yeah. piggybacking. Yeah, <laughs> outstanding. Anyway, I'm Jazz and I'm Britt and YCWAO. Deuces. Deuces.